Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the capacitor in the Samsung side-by-side -side refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and a flat blade screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new capacitor. The main reason why the capacitor would need to be replaced is because it fails, causing the refrigerator compressor not to work. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take out the screws and lift the access panel of the hooks. The capacitor is located inside of this white box together with the main control board. Remove this Phillips screw, pull out the water valve assembly and put it aside. Take out the Phillips screw and push the power cord aside. Remove the two Phillips screws and slide the control board box out. Remove the electrical harness out of the retainer hooks. Using the flat blade screwdriver, release the three tabs and pull the box apart. Disconnect the blue wire harness plug. Take out the capacitor and remove the wire connectors. This is the old capacitor next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Connect the two wires to the capacitor terminals. It doesn't matter which goes where. And clip it into the housing. Connect the blue harness plug. Route the wires to the side through the opening and clip the halves together. The two pins on the side of the control box should fit into the opening inside. Press the box in and secure it with the two Phillips screws. Secure the power cord to the control box with a Phillips screw. Slide the water inlet valve in and secure it with a Phillips screw. Install the rear access panel on the bottom hooks and then secure it with the Phillips screws. Plug the fridge back in and check if it's cooling down. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.